Where in Mitcham was the Eight Bells pub? First of all, I'm sure some of you might be thinking, surely he means the Six Bells pub. No, that's the one in Collinswood High Street, or Merton High Street, opposite the Save Centre, as shown in this 1966 photograph by Eric Montague, reproduced by courtesy of the Merton Historical Society. No, I'm referring to a pub in Mitcham called the Eight Bells. I came across it in the newspaper archives, the British newspaper archives, while looking for details about various pubs and their licences. I came across an entry for two pubs in this notice of 1906, notice of a meeting to be held at the County Hall in Kingston Thames on the 11th day of June 1906 to decide renewal of licences. There are two pubs that caught my eye. The Eight Bells in Church Road, the licensee with the marvellous name of Albertus Troon, and the Lord Napier in London Road. Beer House, the licensee Frank Arnold Lambert. But the Eight Bells of Church Road was more interesting. I know that Montague has made a mention of the Lord Napier, but the Eight Bells I'd not heard of before. So I did some more searches on the British Newspaper Archive, and this notice in the Croydon Express, February 1906, referred to police report from an Inspector J, who said that the licensee had been convicted of being drunk, disorderly and making use of obscene language. And I guess that was going to be used against them in that upcoming renewal. What was interesting was the statistics given in this article. In Mitcham, there were 3,806 houses with 20,846 inhabitants. And there were 21 fully licensed pubs 13 beer houses, so add those two numbers together, that's 34. So for 3,800 houses, there were 34 pubs. That's about a, one pub for every 100 houses. Then it goes on to say that the license of the Eight Bells was in existence in 1873, and the license was transferred to Mr. Albertus Troon in 1905. But where was this pub? All we know so far, it says Church Road. Fortunately, Ancestry has licensed vigil records of 1903, which is near enough to the period of time we're looking at. And we can see here that the Eight Bells, Church Road, the owner was C.A. Attlee and Company of Tooting, which was near the corner with Selkirk Road. And yes, former British Prime Minister Clement Attlee was related to the family that owned that brewery. And here's a nice clue. Distance from two nearest licensed houses. 150 yards from number 49 and 250 yards from number 77. Number 49 is the bull. And number 77, the star. So let's look at a map. Now this is a 1953 map. On the left hand side we can see the Star Public House. Here's the parish church. Church Road. And there's the ball on the corner of Church Place. Now the reason I'm using geo-reference maps is that there are some measurement tools we can measure distance by clicking on the starting point, let's say in front of the ball, go down the road, and we want to go 150 yards, which is 450 feet. And from the star, it was 250 yards which is 750 feet. Where do we start? Should we start there? C. 
750 feet. We'll overrun that. But we're about there. I'd be tempted to go for an average between the two. That puts us at these three buildings here. 74 in the middle, 76, 78, and 72 the other side. So if we have a look at Google Street View, this block of three shots with flats above are referred to in Eric Montague's book on Church Street. He says, a small block of three shops with living accommodation dating to around the early years of the 20th century. This fits in with another newspaper article that refers to the sale of the pub with two adjoining cottages. This Google Street View is from 2009 and shows an angling shop, ladies hairdressers and some other shop. It did have an awning. We do have photographs of number 66, which would be where this new building is. And this old building is number 64 to 62 and 60. And this new build here is where number 66 was. When was that built? This is the oldest Google Street View we have, June 2008. So it was built between 2008 and 2009. So if we look at the Merton Historical Society's website, I've done a search for 66 Church and there are a number of images here the earliest one well let's look at this one first that's that shows you that old building that one and a part of the cottage that was there let's go back and look at a better view Sixty six Church Road, photograph in nineteen sixty six. View from behind. Nineteen seventy eight photo. Built approximately 1750 and the reason I'm showing you these is that although we don't have a photograph of the eight bells pub it's possible that they were of sim it was of similar construction as this cottage which went back to the middle of the 18th century Eric Montague says about this this weatherboarded, timber-framed and slate-roofed cottage listed by the Department of Environment as having group value with the adjoining properties. So perhaps that would have included the Eight Bells pub. Become derelict by the 1990s was placed on English Heritage's Register of Buildings at Risk. For 50 years or so it stood empty awaiting restoration but eventually it was demolished and the site was redeveloped. As we saw. So I think that the Eight Bells pub was here, marked in red on this 1867 map, showing the parish church with the much smaller burial ground than it is now. And two questions remain. Why was it called the Eight Bells? Well, in 1821, there's an article from the Morning Herald that says, At least on Monday next, there will be no less than three new peals of bells to be opened. And the one I'm highlighting is a ring of eight bells at Mitcham Church in Surrey, way in 1600 weight. And they were cast at the Whitechapel Bell Foundry in London. I visited there before it closed down. 
and bought a mug. Anyway, that gives us the name. My second question though is, how popular was the place? And this article on the front page of the Croydon Express, 29th December 1906, tells us that the Eight Bells, the Slate Club, which I presume is the same as what we just call a Christmas club today, which meets at Ye Old Eight Bells, Mitcham, has had a very successful year. Illness having been very light, the sick pay only amounted to two pounds and sixteen shillings, and the share out was one pound six shillings and sixpence to each of the thirty six members. The receipts were fifty five pounds one shillings and five pence. Next year the car will be transferred to the Greyhound, Lower Mitcham. So this is basically where people who go to a pub put a sum of money into the Christmas Club, or the Slate Club as it was called then, which can be used towards people being ill and people dying and the family needing help with funeral expenses. So for a pub to have had 36 members contributing to a Christmas Club, I'd say the pub was well frequented. As to where the Greyhound pub was, that's for another video. If you like this video, please press the like button. Leave some comments if you can. Subscribe if you haven't already. And bye for now.